Hi, so this video is going to give you a little bit of an understanding of how do you complete um, Revolution 3 section. Let me actually change that to Rev 3. There we go. Well, first steps are pretty easy. As you know, you're going to go in, you will um, fill in your notes with the video. So your notes are right here and you'll use the video 3 to do that. Okay, that's pretty simple. The next part, watch the video which is provided here. That's simple enough as well. Now for these parts, I wanted to run through this to show you how this operates. So you're gonna complete the Rev3 chart, which is in Google Classroom. Now it looks like this. The big question we're looking at is how does the industrial revolution change life? And I'm gonna give you some source documents and you're gonna use those to fill in you know, these boxes with notes and they can expand, you can add as much as you want. In the end, you're gonna to have to answer these questions on your assessment. And so adding information that answers the question here will help you out. So um, let's, I'll, I'll show you source D for example. So you can click here to go to the documents or if you are in Rev3 and the chart, you'll see that I have it linked here as well. So it's gonna look like this. Each page will give you some information. You'll see the source letter here, and that fits with the source here, whatever it may be. Um, when you see like source A1, A2, A3, you can put all that information in the A section here, that's fine. So we're gonna look at source D. The question is how does the industrial revolution impact what working conditions are like? So if I go down to source D, you're gonna see there's an interview with a kid and he talks about what his life is like. So when you look through what his life is like on this slide and this side for source D, you then go back and add information here on well, you know, what was it like in the factories. So you'll do that with each of these sources to fill out this chart. Now, while you're navigating through this, you'll see that I have speakers at different spots. If you click on it. Source D, now source D is two parts from 1832, Michael Sadler. It'll explain what the document's about. It'll read it to you if you want to. Uh, on some of these other ones like this one, sometimes it's hard to tell what the map colors mean. If you click on this, Today we are looking at I kind of give you an explanation of what to look for and things like that. So if you're struggling in any way, click on the little speaker. I'll give you a little voiceover to help you out, hopefully. So once you've completed your chart, you're going to use this to complete the unit with this assessment. Oh, not that one. Where'd it go? It's gone. Okay, so let's go back and open it up here with this assessment. All right, and you can see there's the same questions. You can skip number one, but question two, three, and four, you'll answer here. That's how I'll grade you for this. And use all the information that you put in your charts for that. You don't have to tell me what source letter it's from. Just tell me, okay, how does the industrial revolution improve life? Go to source G, go to source, source H, combine those ideas together to give me your final answer on this year. So that's what we got. Uh, if you have any questions, please let your teacher know and we'll go from there. Have a great day, everybody.